this? We're not in Kansas anymore. Is this something that we need to be terrified of? Or the leaders of the bricks emerging. In Tens of thousands of old video shows. A stampede of customers. All right, apocalyptic images coming out of Australia. Right. Australia are in Vietnam. Hi, I'm Pastor Steve Winery, pastor at Calvary Chapel in Tri-Cities, Kennewick. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about end times events. Um, one of the things that we've been going through uh, in the United States, and I, I know that it's been all over the world, is this whole thing with the COVID-19 and lockdowns and, and things like that. One of the things that happened during this period of time was I realized that there were some mechanisms involved in this situation that I had never considered that is going to, uh, looks like it's going to be something that will get us to some of the things that the Bible says about tyranny uh, during the tribulation period. There's a passage in Revelation 13 that most Christians are familiar with. It talks about the beast, the Antichrist. <clears throat> and um, starting in verse three of uh, chapter 13, it says, I saw one of, the, one of his heads as if it had been mortally wounded and his deadly wound was healed and all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshiped the dragon who gave authority to the beast, that's Satan. And uh, they worship the beast, and that's the Antichrist, saying, who is like the beast who is able to make war with him? And he was given a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for 42 months, three and a half years. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So that's one passage, but when you go through the Bible, the Bible describes this guy as being a man who has control over the world. It's a worldwide tyranny. And there are different factions in the world. There's a, there's a faction in the, in the north, there's a faction in the east, there's even a North African faction that the Bible talks about this uh, about. Uh, this guy, it looks like, comes from a European faction and he ends up being in control of the whole world. So how are we gonna get there? And how are we gonna get there uh, in the context of the United States of America? Because again, it's a worldwide event that we're talking about. And one of the things that I've just been shocked with is the amazing uh, reluctance to stand up for basic rights in the United States, specifically in my state, over the whole COVID-19 thing. I don't know I don't know if you pay attention to these things and I understand that there's a lot of information on this, but the latest information from CDC is that this has a 0.26% uh, death rate. That means it's not 1%, it's two tenths of 1% death rate and that that death rate is going down. And I'm not saying that to minimize the death rate. I'm just letting you know that there are other things that are much more deadly than the COVID-19 virus. And yet what we've done is we've uh, given up freedoms. We've given up the freedom to assembly, uh, to assemble. We've given up, given up the freedom to worship. We've given up the freedom to move about and all over something that uh, when we get to the end of it is going to be much less intense than we ever thought it was. In fact, it's already like that. And so that was something that just shocked me. Jesus in Matthew chapter 24 talks about the fact that it, the, in, the, in the uptick to the tribulation period, there are gonna be famines and pestilences in various places. And this is an example of a pestilence, but it's not something that's as intense as many of the pestilences that we've had before. So for example, with the, with the flu in uh, the early 1900s, 675,000 Americans died and we didn't shut down the country. And so now we've got a situation where we're doing this. What happens if we actually get a pestilence, like the Bible ta is talking about, a pestilence where 5% of the country is, is the death rate or 10% or like during the Middle Ages, it's a 30% death rate. 
what happens when that happens and what kind of freedoms are we going to give up and what kind of things are we going to be allowing the government to do in, in taking over the point that i'm making is we have to get to revelation chapter 13. Um, and in the situation we're in we have a relatively and i mean that in the technical way a relatively benign disease in comparison with something like the black plague and we've given up freedoms that we never thought would have happened before and so it's just one of those things that uh, opens up my eyes to a, a myriad of possibilities that could get us to a place where we have a worldwide dictatorship with a dictator who people are actually going to worship is what the bible says in this passage so interesting times jesus said when you see these things beginning to take place look up because your redemption draws near i think we need to be looking up god bless you